And everybody saw me here as a very happy person, um, but underneath that was a lot of shame and uh, depression and didn't really want to say anything about it because of the stigma that goes with that. It, we've, we've talked to a lot of people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s who say this is the first time I've been able to speak about this pain of or depression or whatever their struggle may be um, because they're in a lot of families it's don't tell don't say anything don't don't talk about this thing uh, and you feel a sense of betrayal if you do it's important to uh, if, if, if you feel comfortable to reach out to somebody you trust um, and start uh, talking about how you feel and that's easy to say but hard to do because there's always sometimes in the back of your mind um, am I you know I'm not I, I shouldn't feel this way there's a lot of that mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of it, like I said in the very beginning of this whole journey that Linda and I did that no one would care you know I, I didn't have enough self-worth and I think with the viewers uh, I, when we go out, you know, all the time, people say how much they enjoyed watching me, how much they've missed me, and I hear it over and over again. It, we're like part of the family. You and me and Tom, we're part of a family to those that watch us all the time. So this is a this is a a, a big loss for uh, a lot of the community.